Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video today, show you guys a lacing tutorial and basically three different ways that I like to lace my laces. And hopefully this will be informative to you guys. If you guys like this video, show your support, hit the thumbs up button and share it with other people. But basically there's three main methods that I like to tie my shoes with. There's a couple different reasons why um, I choose to do one shoe one way versus the other. And that really depends on the length of the laces that the shoes come with if you don't change the laces and go with some sort of aftermarket laces. So um, that being said, I'm going to show you guys three different ways. One, simple DS loop. This is pretty much the way the shoe comes. But if you guys mess up the loop and you don't know how to retie it, uh, this is probably the most requested way that people want, want to know how to tie. So that is what I call the DS loop or just the dead stock loop. And then also, this is um, probably my second favorite way to tie shoes depending on the laces. And that's by double knotting the top. As you can see, it goes through the top hole twice and it secures it nicely so it doesn't um, adjust after that. And this is a really easy way to slip on a pair of sneakers depending on the shoes. The other way is this way right here. As you can see, this way in particular is actually tucking in the, the shoe lace and making it so the laces are um, not visible on the outside. So just kind of like this. And that is the kind of the three ways. I'll go ahead and show you guys starting with the first uh, method right now. All right, so I've been asked quite a bit, how, I, how do I complete this DS loop right here? As you can see, this is the dead stock loop on the top. And you can see it's very, very simple to do. Um, and it gives it just kind of a, uh, a different look than um, a tied down pair of laces. And this is for those people that want to wear sneakers casually. This isn't obviously how you're going to lace up for a basketball game. I hope not at least. But to do this, it's very, very simple. I'll show you guys real quick here. I'm going to untie it. And the only thing that you need to do, I'm trying to give you guys a first person view here, is put the laces together like this. And then you can see as they're together, you just kind of hold down here and then twist like this and make a little loop. So again, straight out on like this, twist, make the loop, and then just put this side through the bottom. And that's it. It's very, very simple. I'll do it one more time for you guys. Twist. Like right here again, like that, and then through. And then that's pretty much it. It's really, really simple to do. DS loop, and that's how it looks to um, wear your shoes casually. All right, so another method that I like to use is basically by tucking in the laces, as you can see right here. So this is how it's worn and the laces don't stick out. And it's very, very simple to do. All you do is when you get up to the top, of a lace you can see that if I wanted to wear this one loose like this there's quite a few extra laces here so I could do it outward but in this case I want to make it so these laces don't show and all I do is instead of put it through this way I put it through this way and I know this is very very simple tutorial for you guys but this is hopefully helpful for those that are wondering people that are not really into this sneaker thing as much as the others out there so again if you guys find this helpful please show your support hit the thumbs up but basically that's it you could see that's all i did and then now when you wear them they're going to be loose like this and you're still going to be able to have um the uh, the laces hidden so that's kind of nice if that's um, something that you're after all right so the last way is the double loop of the top as you can see right here the top section is looped twice and it kind of gives it a, a fun look to the shoe. But more importantly, it's like actually pretty snug uh, in this area right here. So it doesn't loosen the laces anymore and it just keeps its form and the shape uh, better than uh, other methods. So this way is really, really simple. All you have to do is basically take and loop this one through the top section a second time. So instead of doing it... Um, the way where it faces inward i'm going to just do this one and push this one through the top uh, as you can kind of see here the white balance is kind of off um, push it through the top like that so this is literally the same hole and that's pretty much it it's just the easiest way to do it and this is probably one of my favorite ways that i've kind of taught myself how to uh, lace a pair of sneakers and i think that it's one of those ways that it's pretty uh, successful and easy to use and i apologize the lighting on this shoe is a little bit rough Anyways, that's pretty much the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, leave some comments. Let me know how do you guys tie your shoelaces if you guys do tie your shoelaces or um, do you just do it normal like the regular um, missionary style of tying laces, if you will. 
Uh, but uh, but yeah, I like to do it in a little bit of a different fashion just for fun and mostly for comfort and uh, wearing um, things kind of more for lifestyle. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys for um, checking out the video and we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.